Welcome to Jonuto online class. In this particular video, I want us to continue our lesson on onset, and that is a Venn diagram. Last time we discussed um, the concept and the notations used in set, and we even dealt with the example on a normal um, calculation in set. But now we want to treat a special case, which is Venn diagram. And what we mean by Venn diagram in set theory, by Venn diagram we mean um, a diagram that is used to interpret set information. That is Venn diagram. Now, in that Venn diagram, we have a, 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 rectangular, a rectangular box with a circles. The circles will represent the, the set uh, members, while the rectangular box represents the universal set, which I usually call the mother set. OK, now let us look at the example question on the board for clear understanding as we saw. Now, the question says, in a class of 32 students, a student can either do agri science or biology or both. If 16 students do agri science, 18 do biology, and three do none of the subjects, that is neither biology nor agri. Now we are asked to find how many students that do both. That's the number of students that do both biology and what? Agri. Okay, that is good. Now, in solving this, first of all, let us interpret the information given. Then after which we use a Venn diagram. And in the in information, we are given that the universal set, which is 32 students. 32 students. That the universal set is the symbol. Remember, we treated that last time. The universal set is 32. The total number of students in that class is the universal set. 32 students. Then we are told that that 16 students do average science. So let our average, let average equals A, let I be A, biology be what? B. Then we continue. Now we have that, in this case, we now have that number of average, number that offer average is 16. 16. The number that offer biology is 18. Number that offer biology is 18. Then, number that do neither biology nor what? Agri is 3. Then we have that neither biology nor agri by the set notation. It will be written this way. We can write it this way. That is N of Agri union biology complement that interpretation is three. That is agri union biology complement. That is the one that does not belong to agri and biology three. That is the complement. Then we are asked now to find the number of students that do both subjects. Quickly, what we need to do is to place this in in a in a Venn diagram. But before we do that, we have to represent the number of students that do both. So let number of both, that both will be average intersection biology, which is what? That will let it be x. That let the number that do both be x. That will mean that is for both subjects, for both. For both subjects. So let it be x, the number of intersection, those that do both, that is intersection. Now, for us to know those that do agric only, so agric only should be 16 minus what? x. Then for us to know those that do biology only, it should be 18 minus what? The intersection. So you can now see that biology agric only, the end of agric only should be 16 minus x. We give it agri only. Then also, number of do biology only will now be what? 18 minus what? X. That will give people that do biology what? Only. So this will help us. Why do we do minus F? Well, this S is the intersection between them. So for you to know that those that do biology only, without doing uh, agri, it should be 18 minus those that 
do both. For you to know the people that do, number of students that do agri only, it should be total number of students that do agri minus those who do both agri and what? Biology. You now get them only. So you should know the difference between this and this information. That's why students get it wrong. Okay, now we now put in Venn diagram. Now, in Venn diagram, in Venn diagram, we we'll have this. This is what we are going to have in our Venn diagram. So we we'll have this, and we'll have this. This is how it looks like. Now, here is our universal set, and it is 32, the total number. Here is A. So here is A. Here is A. And here is B. That's average biology. That those that do both is here. That ring here is the intersection, X. Then those that do average only is 16 minus X. Then those that do biology only is 18 minus X. You get it. Now, those that do neither biology nor agric, they are outside this circle. They should be within the box, but outside the circle. They are in the class, but they do not do agric or biology. So they will be here, three. Any place in the rectangle here outside these circles will be for those that do, do neither of the subjects or the items involved. Okay, now for us to get our question, we are asked to find those that do both. What are you going to do together that do both? First of all, you make an equation with this. And that equation will now be that 16 minus x plus x plus 18 minus x or plus 3, or we give you 32. This is the equation we are going to get. Because Totality of everything here will give us 32, which is the universal state, total in the class. So you, you add all the sum the above equals to 32 in total. By simplifying this, by solving this equation now, we now have um, 16 minus s plus s, this one is gone. So minus s plus s, this one is gone. So we have 16 plus 18 minus s. Plus, uh, out without wasting time, 16 plus 18 will give us uh, 34. Then 34 plus 3 will give us 37. So we are going to, and the minus s plus s here is um, a, a balanced. So the many minus s here. So 16 plus 18, we have 34. Then we have 34 plus um, 3, 37. So we have that 37 minus x equals what? 32. We are left with this in this equation. So let's find the value of x, which is the number that do both. What you are looking for? This. So we now have that 37. When we are getting this equation now, this minus s go here, you will get what positive, and this one here got minus. So we have 37 minus 32 will give us x. Therefore, our x will be equal to 37 minus 32 is simply what? 5. So we have five students, five students, five students. So the number of students that offer both subjects, agric and biology science in the class are what? Five students. If you check it out, you can now balance it. If we have five students, you should know that 16 minus five here will give you what? 11. If you do a rough check here to confirm this information, to know if your answer is correct, it is simple from the Analysis, 16 minus 5 will give you what? 11. If you have 11 here, plus that those that do agric only can now, will now be 11. Then, uh, 18 minus 5 will give us what? 13. So we have 13. This is those that do what? Biology only. We want to confirm this what we saw. Then, so you now have that. Then those that do... Uh, both of them is five. Five do both. Five do both biology and what? Agri. Then those that do that uh, do neither of the subjects are three. So plus these three who are still member, members of the class. So
So when you add all this now, what will you have? 11 plus 13 will give you 24. 24 plus uh, 5 here will give you what? 29. 29 plus 3 is 32. Confirm. So you can see that the analysis is correct. So this is how to tackle Venn diagram. How to interpret it. Remember the difference between total number that offer or identify or that belong to a particular subset and those that do or uh, belong to a particular one only. That's it. You subtract the intersection. And look at the notation here, the notations we use. So thank you for paying attention to this particular class. I believe with this um, example, you'll be able to tackle similar cases in solving a set using Venn diagram. So for more of these solutions in mathematics and physics, you uh, reach out to me, subscribe to my YouTube channel, join me on Facebook, Instagram, and even TikTok as well. Then if you want extra classes on mathematics and physics as you are preparing for Jambu, Wayek, GCE, Neko, Naptel, you can reach out to me for online classes through my number here. You can chat me on WhatsApp and then I can hold classes for you through Zoom, Skype, or Telegram. Thank you. I remain your tutor and friend here. Your tutor online.